Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Brunerkrieg Heart mod, of course, for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Conquadet of Hamburg, lover, but Italy transfers Slovenia and Tyrol. The towns have gladly handed over the regions of Slovenia and Tyrol to our new empire. Well, they fear their indestructible power, they don't really care for the regions, they have proven their faithfulness to the revolutionary cause once again. Loyalty runs deep in brothers. Nice. Ah, uh, the Great African Revolutions. For hundreds of years, the Afri people of Africa have been oppressed by the imperial powers and have abused the local population. The upcoming war represents an excellent opportunity to free the Dark Continent from its chains, but Pilitz Oil. Pilitz is a great place to improve our current oil production capabilities. It's a great ex expensive endeavor, though, and will prevent us from investing into some other projects, but... Oh, well. Um, let's see. Right now, we're just trying to build up a huge navy. We really want a thick navy. The biggest navy possible. I'd love to get this. It takes so long to make these ships, though. So long. And then, actually, you guys looking okay. So let's grab you. 1936. But generally, because it's, it's only single player right now, for 1936, having these types of carriers and stuff is totally fine. Oh, Press on Social Republica. Uh, we can launch, launch chemical weapons, secure the Baltic Sea. Yeah, that's, you know, that's pretty good. Yeah. The re revolutions have won the European Front. Yay. Mm, few other people for we, we could do that. French Resistance, we're still doing that as well. <clears throat> Add French Occupation. Ooh. That's a lot. We're still doing Freya to make itself stronger. Close out of this one. We got the Abwehr going ahead, doing some good old Abwehr stuff. Uh, where are you guys at? You guys are over here, which is fine. Do this quick. You guys are infantry. You guys are tanks. Let's come over here, have a good old time, and get rid of some Danes. Because why not? Mm, a fully functional bomb. I love bombs. Don't quote me on that one, but I love them. Anyways. Oh, we have no planes on these guys. That is a giant mistake, if I do say so myself. There we go. And, you know, I'll send you guys over here, too. Yeah. Disperse Industries. Pretty good to get. Get some more fuel. Where are we all at? You're all garrisoning all that stuff over there. Lower French Resistance. Yes, please. And, of course, with that one, we will need to do form the Geheime Staatspolizei. The Gahama Shots bullets are the Gestapo for short, will develop counterinsurgency tactics that will be invaluable to suppress in the resistance movements in France. They'll accomplish your Aryan goal. As they should. Anything over here? No. Anything over here? No. Not even really looking at this stuff right now. That's okay. 1941. Better tanks? Yes, please. You guys actually do well here, maybe? Let's see. And we have some comms to go through as well, of course. Dynamic research is very, very good. 1943. Over here, 40, 40, 40, 41. Light tanks. We're still using light tanks, so it's still good to use that stuff. So you guys are going to wear. I'm going to do that too. Nice. Nice. Pretty good. So you guys in as well. And. What do we have up here? Better naval bombers? Yes, please. Well, nice, very good, very good, and we got him. Oh, we just signed a white piece, that fast. Welcome, my god, he's got some good facial hair. Max Arlskov, very nice. Answer the plans of French attack, all right. Rhone, Loire, Picardy, I'm not going to remember these locations. Toulouse, not bad. And as soon as they pop up, you put them down. And as soon as they pop up, you put them down. As soon as they pop up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice. Anything over here, level 5, Heinz. Or we have a breakthrough. I like breakthrough. That's cool. And do this, do that. Get some more extraction, just because in case. Do this, do that. Our recruiting operative is ready. Get rid of DC as well. And keep doing that too. And we have auto scores any. Goes any? I might. I'm, I always say that one wrong, but whatever. And then form a gun. Gamma shots for the tie. Yes. North Africa. Oh, we took the. Did take this part of North Africa too. So it is what it is. After that, Oriental prospects. The Orient's been controlled too long by fledgling empires like the British and Ottomans. Nationalists in Oman and India seek to model our national revolution, so we must support their cause. And what a revolution it is. All right. So we're we missing anything here. I do want a lot more tanks, and just say I want more motorized. I wonder if we can take out Russia eventually, too. No, thank you. Uh, 
Be able to feel for war. Well, we already have 100%, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I want to name in sauerkraut. I have French occupation. My goodness, is it very high. So, this one was supposed to stop again core on these guys, which is very good for us. But these guys kind of sucks. I guess consolidate power than these guys, I guess, you know. Set resistance to zero. Also, we can't go to war with anyone else without doing some more folk. Oh, never mind. Well, okay then. So we'll see. You know what? I might just do this anyways. Minus 50% political power is extremely huge, though. Like, that's drastically huge. Um, I keep doing Freya just because we need more consumer goods. And all honesty, we really just need more consumer goods. Because this is not enough. And do that too. What else we got around here? Five. Great African revolutionaries. 41. Military police would be nice. Oriental projects and prospects. Uh, grab some of that because he can. And then what? Anything else to the left? We can do all the stuff on the left. The coronation. Creating the code. Pragmatists and stuff like that. Um, let's do this one over here. Ally South American Revolutionaries. The People's Confederation, Confederation of La Plata and Chilean Social Republic initiated their own national revolution in 1933 and seek to overthrow and free the traditional republics and monarchies under the repressive American sphere. Despite being across the Atlantic, they could be our closest friends. They're just a long distance relationship, that's all it is. You know? Oh, darn it. Cool. Crushing of the Catholic rebels. Over the past year, our efforts against the rebels who have decided to take the faith in the Pope as more important than their heritage has been successful, and we imagine race, uh, reduce their resistance greatly. But the Pope's influence will be dealt with. Nice. Very good. So now we get 1.13 still. Not bad. The Prussian worker. Anyone else we can go to war with? Spain? What's your national populace? We'd probably better have them under us than not, so. Hello. You bet with question Spanish sovereignty. I think it's over here. Lower resistance, yes. Keep doing that for now, it's not that much manpower. Group tankerinos, nice. Get some heavies because you can. Oh, we still got quite a bit we can do here. Uh, industrial stuff. Or tank stuff. Tank speed and reliability. Speed and reliability. Vormag sounds like fun. I love Vormag. Vormag, Vormag, Vormag. Launch chemical operations. Well, I probably don't need to do that one. Um, yeah. Thank you, Swiss Junta. I don't know why Ashanti still owns that, like we said in the last video, but whatever. Specialists, let's go with overwhelming firepower. Yeah, sure, why not? I need to focus on the left side here. Try to best the blitz into here, too. And then, after these, eliminate the capitalist menace. Large swaths of the world still remain under the control of the head of the capitalist conspiracy, the U.S. President of the United States of America. Um, we must rush troops into Washington and the American dream for good. So, way better just for war goals times, which is already pretty good. And then better armor production. Unlock ability just for war goals. Oh. Armor production cost. Let's see, what do we have here? Improved medium tanks. We got enough armor. So, we get those mediums. Improved howitzers. Medium cannons. That's usually what I like to do. Radios are like what I like. Oh, and ammo storage. I also like that too. Extra ammo storage, maybe. And grab some soft armor. Uh, cast armor is very nice. It's going to be kind of expensive to do this. Keep the speed for now. Tension bar. Lower reliability, but anything over 100 does like nothing for us, so there you go. Very fast. I love it. Bands of forge, improved medium tank chassis. Chassis. Nice. Beautiful, my friends. It does take quite a bit of chromium, but we're okay with that for now. Follow the book of Hello? Did they just take out our ally? 
Well then. We need more infantry divisions. How much time do we have before they come and try to kill us? We don't know. So let's go in as fast as we can. Speed, speed, speed. Should be able to go pretty fast with these tanks, but I guess none of them are on the line yet, but whatever. Let's okay, go ahead and send you guys over here. Faster, faster, faster. I know it's the wrong mod for that, but whatever. Nice. Beautiful. Go, 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 go. Come on. Where are you stopping, son? I'm going straight for the capital. I love it. Fall of Madrid, Spain in shambles. Straight from my log. Uh, go, go here. I know there's a railroad, but whatever. Um, let's not do anything with the military factors yet. They might change stuff up a little bit, just because due to. Oh. Okay. What we have here currently. Come on. There we go. See, I don't want to do it. No. Rex Commissaria Nord Spanin. Rex Commissaria Catalanin. Spanish worker state. Nice, Solomon. Oh, they're up for the Italians. Okay. Jose, you look like Ramon down here. And you're just Lucas. Okay. That's interesting how they divided it, uh, these guys up between us. Which I'm okay with, but still. We definitely do not have enough divisions for this, but whatever. Um. Uh, who wants their uh, rise up? No, it's funny. Better a lot of roads, there we go. That's how you do it. I support the People's Confederation of La Plata. New Judea, War of the French Empire, they join us. Our plan is to stop tyranny from swinging Europe and make progress. Carlos Ibarguera and approves of our efforts and has accepted our invitation to an alliance. We're one step closer to rebuilding the Empire. People's Confederation of La Plata, Bolivian National Socialist Front, and Revolutionary Union of Purdue. Or Peru. Who's what's Purdue? Peru. Nice. Beautiful. That actually makes it so that they have to fight these guys too, but then, then again, that gives us another foothold in South America, which is actually really nice. Wait, what happened to these? I thought Brazil was with us. What the heck, guys? How dare you betray us? How dare you? Uh, we need more tanks and, and planes. That's why I want a uh, military police here, too. You guys are thick. And we love them thick. They're not thick. We don't want them, of course. Still. Put one three. And then we'll do this one. It's probably stuff last. Because it is her political part for quite a while. But we'll do Mauser. Mauser, founded in 1811, is a German gun company that created the car being a 98 Kurs. Well, 8 or 9 -ish. The guns are also known as the car 98K or 98K-98K. K-98K. The car 98K happens to be a great gun. And due to how simple it is, it produces and alter as well. Better research speed, nice. Uh oh. Oh. Are we importing stuff? Yes, we are. No more imports. Here, we're gonna be out of fuel for a little bit once these guys go to war with us. Go more Freya. Freya, 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 all the time. Oh, I, put, I thought I put it. I wonder if we got 0 out of 5. It's guns. Eh, it's alright, whatever. Bounce that tank's nice. Nice. Uh, we need some subs too. Advanced light tanks. At this point, you know what? As much as I like light tanks, go mediums here. Go logistics as well. Some mechanized on those guys. I'm not sure if I'll actually use light tanks at all at this point. I don't know. Go that too. When, oh when, are they actually going to go to war with us? Because we're going to have a ton of divisions. The boys that we do got are plenty thick. You're literally just going straight through their lands while they're going to go to war with us. What an absolute move. Mm, that is, there is 
plot points right there. Shouldn't be too worried about this, but we'll see. So do we know anything about these guys at all? A million manpower, tons of fuel, crap ton of divisions. Doesn't mean they're any good, but are they still fighting the Japanese, actually? I think we're all fighting the Japanese still. Greater Mongolian Khanate, huh? God, they have all of China. Jesus, that's gonna, not going to be fun. Oh, good lord. Got all this to kill off as well. Not good. Not good at all. I'm a vice finger. You ain't making millies, though. We might go to total mobilization. Maybe we'll see. Um, some comments include. Uh, oh no, Goring is hungry. So someone else says, is this World War One or World War Two? I'm not sure. Or this doesn't really know his mod. Well, this is the mod. What if Austria won uh, the Brothers' War back in the day, in the 1860s? So basically, that's what it is. Basically, it's World War Two. I think. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, we'll see. Um, so else, can you play Ostalgy? the Berlin Wall? Maybe. Bro can play with Brazil and restore the Empire of Brazil to play tr pay tribute to Don Luis de Lor Orlin and Brazanga Braganza who passed away on July 15th, 2022 due to natural causes. Please, well, if you don't want to, that's fine, no problem. So it says, hello, Ukraine person. Why do you not have more subs? Ah, that's a good question. I don't know why. But why are these guys not going to war with us either? Do I have to go to war with them? We we might have to. Oh, it's probably because we have divisions in their lands. Bros. Hurry up. Alright, not bad. Right, Sweden, Barat, Congo package. We could launch chemical weapons too. We will see about that. We do that. Do they immediately attack us? No? Alright, so maybe I should have deployed some planes before we went to war, but whatever. Let's go there. There you go. Um, I guess we can come on in, that's fine. We'll take a pull in quickly. Can you guys do well here or not? Hungry's down the war, that's why. No, they're there? Are they down the war? Wait, Slovakia against us? Ooh. They are against us here. I let the Hungarians deal with that for now. Go on, go in. Oh, we should be fine here. I'm just abandoning the line, that's all. Don't worry about it. It's all part of the plan. Um, uh, Mauser. There we go. Now they're attacking us. Sure, guys. We found them over here, but they're not looking so good right now. Hmm. Chemical weapons? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Casually launch a nuke. Not nuclear, but chemical weapons, that's all. Take Pressburg and they should fall apart. Is this a pocket? I love pockets. I love having pockets. Oh, what is this? Chemical attack on Zitomir? Ooh. And Cresania? Farming destruction. Wow. Nice. I like chemical warfare when we do it against uh, opponents. So the Republic is gone, as they should be. What are we not getting here? Oh, I can ask this right. Go these on the tanks eventually as well. Go break through, I guess. Nice. How about here? Uh, it's a couple divisions stuck here. Not a lot, but a couple. Go, tanky boys, go! 
That's armed protection, 1942. We're still lacking in artillery guns, whatever. Russian stuff is going down. We're still doing okay on fuel, actually, which is not un super surprising, but still. We just built bombs. That's all right. Bombs are okay. Yeah, they're, they have some guys here on the line, but a lot of them, they don't. Huh. Very strange. What else with this? Oh, actually, we want to improve the what cast we have. Crap, you are not done that. Early destroyer hole? Wow, you're bombing all, all the way over there? Wow. So here's the goal. We're going to push this way as hard as we can. And I'm going to push down through basically what was Romania and push down through the Baltics. Balkans, not Baltics. Well, we're pushing through the Balkans anyways, but whatever. Uh, modern Blitzkrieg, yeah. Get more organization for all our infantry and stuff and whatnot. Nice. Nice. Alright, so now at this point... Another guy in here. Pretty good. There you go. Led by Felix Steiner. Ambusher, Gorilla, whatever. Doing pretty darn well. So now you guys are gonna turn in this direction and go straight to Constantier. Get ready to go. We won't have enough divisions for a while. We've lost twenty thousand versus oh, three. The, 300,000, wow. We've got to go all the way to capitulate China, too. Wow, Jesus Christ. And Japan. And go when you can. Why do they have nothing? Or why, why are they so weak? Nicholas II, why are you so weak? they got plenty of guns. No artillery, which is good to see. Barely any anti-air. Like a couple of fighters and whatnot, but still. Go, boys, go. You're doing great. Pushing hard on the north. Oh, hell. Oh. Mauser? Oh, Goring, what a guy. A revived Reichsia. Let's go and start doing that and then we'll talk about it. Although Reichsia is now one of the most advanced and capable armies in Europe, and we can now take on any nation that dare stand in our way. Oh, look at this. I'm fucking Slavin. Where the brother traders and the air weak airs finish, it's time to face the greatest threat of us all. The great Slavic wall of men preparing their attack on us, but the German does not wait. No, he attacks, driving his enemy to like a bolt of heavens, preparing for the struggle. But only dedication can bring victory. For the triumph of the will to occur must be preceded by the struggle, and our people and soldiers must be willing to sacrifice all for the fatherland. Winter clothing. That was really good. Our soldiers will be ready to face a barbarian threat, and the frosted lands only good for barbarians. Our brave men will need winter clothing. Only a foolish man would send so many to their deaths without even jackets. Unto nimen orum. The days now, the Slavs are weak, Germany is strong. Soldiers go forth and conquer for Deutschland, for das Wohl, for das Vaterland. Reichsmarschall Directive number 21. Go up for Rhea. Uh, it looks like we will need to increase our uh, fuel, but also manpower. Limited conscription, extensive conscription. Yep. Pretty much. And we're doing quite well down here. Oh, losses. How are they losing so many men? It's so incompetent. Why is Russia so incompetent? And sometimes that's okay. It's totally okay sometimes. Suppress, surpass General Venta. Muscovina waits. Yeah, I'll do this one. The war, war in Russia will never be won in the secured greatest cities. St. Petersburg and Muscovine. We must strike now, push on to Muscovine, and Russia will be ours. Exploit separatism. We've learned that many of the minorities in Russia hate Russian war and welcomed us. We'll be foolish not to exploit these good feelings, and we shall grant those who help us our time and earn dignity, or at least we'll say so. The greatest war. The war will be the greatest war for two reasons. It'll be the largest in quantity, and we recognize that and enlarge our own army. It'll be our greatest victory. Nicholas II offers a peace treaty. Uh, knowing that they cannot stand against Romania, the Russians have proposed a treaty where they would see all territory west of the AA line. Um, which is stretches from Arkhangelsk to the Polar regions to Astrakhan by the Caspian Sea. We've lost a quarter million, or actually a third of a million. We've done a lot of damage. We've done a crap ton of damage, so we're ready for peace, because there's no point just going all the way there. Um... Because they're going to capitulate anyways. I mean, I guess technically with what we want to do, uh, it might make more sense if we wanted to just annex them all. But truth be told, I don't really care too much. Um, let's see. Hell next year, Anthony Byzantium. That was pretty quick about how they did, just did this. So uh, who else are we still fighting now? Japan, Hector uh, We're over here at Concord at Hamburg. We got nothing over there, which is fine. Whatever. And we're still fighting the Americans. So uh, that'll be fine. That's fine. That's fine. What's over here? Dominion in Canada still barely exists, huh? And we got some air superiority too. Not bad. Consider power, still waiting for do that. Ooh, we have all this stuff over here. Industrial expansion, close out of that, please. Thank you. Do all this stuff because you can, because why not? And Eurasian Federation settles peace with German Volksreich. 
Unable to handle the German onslaught, most of European Russia has been ceded to the German Volksreich in exchange for peace treaty. The ball of a giant. As we just did that to do that too. Oh! Ow! We get bare offensive. Wait, so basically we just went back to war with them. Oh goodness. Now that's an exploit if I do have to say so myself. Like, um, yeah, we'll have peace. Just kidding, guys. We break the Stalag Pact. Um, with the last great war, and that the German Volkswagen will become an undisputed hegemon of Europe once with the war that, that they just started. Yeah, you betcha. You bet we're gonna go crazy here. Um, this looks really god awful, to be honest with you. Let's have a crop ton of divisions around here, but whatever. You guys are down here, based around there. You guys come around there. Um, oops. You all come around here. I did not mean to go back to war with these guys. But yeah, now we have our, uh, these guys too. Even though they don't really have any, eh, they might have a couple divisions here and there, but whatever. Oh, peace conference is over. Calculating FX? Uh oh. That's very bold. Which means something's happening. Um, this conference is over. Wow, it's quite laggy. I think Rush is exploding. So, yeah, that's probably why. There you go. Oh, see, yeah, they explode. Fall of Vladivostok. Um, okay. Well. So, who are we war with? Are we actually war with them? No. Greater Slavagon Taunt. With the Iraq Republic and Habin. And Saudi Arabia. Well, okay then. Afghanistan's up there. Well, I guess we'll go this way then. Alright. Why not? Actually, we're not at war with these guys anymore. Which means we'll be at war forever with them, basically, then. Probably. Or we'll just say go to war anyways. And we'll take them all that way. You guys can come over here. We'll do that. You guys come up there and do that. We'll see how it goes. We don't have to take out America. We don't really want to. So, let's give you the weights. Yeah, I guess we own it now. We're still exploiting separatism, but whatever. Nice. Yeah, I don't have to take out America. We don't really want to. I don't really feel like it. Truth be told, don't really feel like it. I'll capitulate at them. Do this. Do that. Look at all the extra planes that we've gotten. Cool, cool, cool. And fighters. Aegean Islands. Nice. 100. Very nice, very nice. Fighters, please. Thank you. Throw you there. And then throw it back over. Collapse of Russia. Yay! 1942. Better logistics, yes, please. Bit of Bakker, Becker, something like that. Becker, Bakker. Haram. Yurak. Tarax. Let's have a good old time. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh, we have a truce with them, that's right. Uh, for how long, though? August 13. Eh, not that, much, not that much longer. It'll be fine. Uh, who are they fighting? Fine, it's fine, whatever. Ah. Crushing of the Catholic rebels. Remove religious divide. I thought we already did that already. Gain religious divide. Oh, it's just oh, lessening the effects of, what, of how it has been so far. Which is good. It's very good. Love it. Keep reducing those effects. Nice. Very good. Oh, Slo oh, Slovakia's back. God dang it. X, alright, we're just gonna exploit separatism. I love exploiting people. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. We got a choose? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Here, force it. Why not? Or we just go here, but we already started forcing it. And then that'll make it easier to kill those guys off. No supplies? No problem. Yeah, and then go straight to there. Makes it super nice. All the way down to the Middle East. I love the Middle East, especially when you can blow it up. God, I sound like such an American. I should be president. Anyways. Let's go to die. Let's go to die. 
That'd be very nice. Oh, what's South America doing? Yeah, they're holding out, looks like. Yeah, they're holding out, so for now. Push from Moscow. Hmm. Securing the South. Oh, the Slovakians. Obviously, I think I should deserve all the states because we did the most here, right? Totally. Uh, a little bit more clicking. I apologize for the clicking. Oh, God. And there we go. What should we need for this one? Quite a bit. So, Black Republic. And just a little bit more, just because at this point, who cares? We're the big daddy. Gordon is hungry. We're all hungry here. We need more. More. Almost there. There we go. Sorry, Italy. But the fat man is hungry and he needs to eat. Let's go to that one. There we go. Prospect for resources. Aluminium, as some might say, incorrectly. How are we doing over here? We're still doing okay? General authority of Perm. We'll leave the other Russian warlords alone. Everyone else, any other one that's actually Russian, nah. They're fair game. Beautiful. Russian Reconstruction. Eurasian Federation. How much have I lost? Is that a, over half a million already still to us? Beautiful. And then the Greatest War, of course, which would be good. Even more population? Nice. That's pretty nice. Actually, we get 1.13 stall. No change. Oh, whatever. Stick Baghdad. Not like anybody wants it. Is it ours? Daddy Baggies? Yay, we have Daddy Baggies. Ar Ramadi. Ramadi. Oh, nice. Ah, I love Iraq. Mongolian state, sorry Japan, but I'm taking this. Rock is ours too. Better cannons? It's almost 43 right, there you go. Northern China, oh well, no one gives a crap about Northern China. Hey, it looks very nice. Um, Grand Army of Russia. Grand Army of Russia. Russian Grand Army. You guys are doing the best you can for now without, you know, a whole bunch of supply, but whatever. Take these guys out one by one. It's very nice. Very beautiful up there, too. Syria is ours as well. Good arms is puppeted. Alright then. Syrian states over there, too. Not bad. Another front done, which means we can send some other guys elsewhere. Die in the Middle East. Also, I wanted heavy flame tanks, but they're so good that it's, it's really too late to really use them too much. Ah, I love encirclements. The greatest war, my friends. The greatest, greatest, greatest war. After that, I guess we'll start doing this stuff. Cold Goringen. Everyone, this, please go ahead, because I've read this one before. And then we'll see what that's about. Not bad. Oh, hello. Cossack defectors. Well, that's not bad. I don't really want to use them, though. Goodbye. Just be like, nah. Not today. I guess we're finishing these guys off here. We'll finish some of these guys off here. We'll finish some of these guys off right here. You guys can extend the line if you need to. Defenders. Oh, they took back Moscow though. Eh, whatever. Alright. You guys are getting done with that. Y'all getting done with that one too. How much more do we need? Not much more. Let's 
good. Get down there eventually. Finishing off here too. Very nice. They still have a crap ton of divisions. Where's the capital? The Eurasian Federation's right there. Eurasian Federation. Is it over here? It's hop in. Huh. I'm not exactly sure where the capital is. Oh! Sorgut is gone. Sorgut. Sergut. You guys doing the best you can with like no literally no supply through here. Nice. And doing the land auction, not bad. You guys can finish that up too. Get a radar because you can. Take back Moscow. Finish off Central America. But let's see what this is about. Called Goringengin. Creating the code. Now this one. Idealist decisions. Close it. Pragmatic decisions. Idealists. Well, is there something about here that we should know about? Pragmatists versus idealists? Well, let's see. Ensure our hegemony from the AECs. For the firm boot, stop unnecessary repression. Improving autarky. Uh, Reopen the nation. Young Eagles, foundation of our strength. Cartel economy, the power of the German worker. Center of the disease. Enzig. Oldenstadt, ooh, child, ooh, child labor. I think it's more idealist. Let's be more pragmatist, even though I'm not sure how much of a pragmatist Goring was. But let's do this one. For the AECs, many conservative army officers, although they bear no love for enemies, have suggested it may be prudent to simply separate the German and non-German communities, and allow self-rule for those autonomous ethnic communities. Whilst may undermine centralization, will likely lead to less resentment in the East and preserve purity. I'll take their advice. So I guess we'll go with increase pragmatists. So we'll close idealists and go with pragmatists. Why not? And then stop unnecessary repression. There's no need to provoke our enemies to resist. We should f firmly but justly rule, if only, to avoid further revolts. We must tone down the army's successes and focus on building the future. Reopen the nation. Oh, Turkey was a wartime measure designed to improve German industry in the short term. In the long term, it is unsustainable, and so we must reopen to the rest of the rule with so much wealth from our conquests, they will surely buy eagerly. Just because this seems like kind of craziness. I mean, the both sides are crazy. We're a reformist goring. The foundation of our strength, the victory was not that of the politicians. It was that of the Reichsmarschall and his loyal army. The idea of subverting those who, held, who bled for Germany is preposterous, and the Wehrmacht shall remain the pillar of the German power. The cartel economy. The radicals cause kleptocrats, corporatists, and traitors. Let them shout. The businessmen with rich functionaries are good Germans seeking to use their wealth to serve Germany and prevent a revolution. More to the point, they provide us with conservative support and maximize uh, factory output. The kleptocracy will continue. The nation, condition of strength, and the convention. Redacted. An emergency convention will be convened at Redacted and Redacted to discuss Redacted in the matter of Redacted. Intrusion of reality. The Oval Commandment of Emacht is holding a meeting then. A field marshal, Eric von Manstein, was invited. Exiting his own staff car, he bided the day for a moment. It was a sunny day, with flowers growing all around the barracks. No sign of war that had consumed Germany for the past years, except for the guards swarming the building. After checking in, the marshal entered the room to find his fellow commanders deep in a heated discussion. Goring hasn't answered any summons over the past few weeks, General Guderian exclaimed. A crossman, a furious Arthur Axman yelled. How dare you criticize the Fuhrer? You and the indolent reactionaries of the officer corps should be shot for treason. The Fuhrer is fine, and he's the only leader of the Aryan race. The meeting was dissolved before Manstein's eyes. Slamming a fist on the table, he barked, Gentlemen, Guderian and Axman shot up. Even though Manstein, soldier though he was, could see the hatred boiling in their eyes, we convened to discuss the meeting needs in the eastern armies with the Fuhrer. Where is he? Manstein demanded. At the moment, a man rushed in, but it was not the Fuhrer, but his aide, Fritz, Manstein recalled. Fritz saluted sharply, then handed a note to Manstein. 
As he scanned down the notes, he grew more and more shocked and alarmed. His face betrayed his usual stoicism, but he, and he saw how disturbed the junior officers were to see this. The note was not dictated by Goring, but written by Fritz, and it made scandalous accusations about the fear. Supposedly, he had become addicted to morphine. Monstein read the last line with even greater fear. The fear has refused all treatment and is addicted. But becoming sick, I secretly consulted a doctor, who informed me that the Big Daddy could go into cardiac arrest any moment. Do not tell anyone who wrote this letter. He cut off the name of the writer, then summarized the note's content for the audience. The reaction was absolute chaos filling the room. The mutinies were immediately forgotten. The junior officers, many aligned with Axman, demanded the name of the writer, which Monstein stubbornly refused to give. Guderian and supporters demanded an inventive intervention, but they couldn't convince enough of the officers to go along with it, causing Monstein to order Guderian to stop in the end. Little came of the meeting itself, but the two meetings shortly after would decide the fate of Germany. Monstein stopped Guderian, passed orders to the barracks. General began. There is merit to your plan intervention. While the Fuhrer's condition remains stable now, if we were to become unstable or worse, measures may be taken to save Germany. Guderian stared at him. Then nodded. I'll drop the plans, he said briefly, and entered his car. Just a few meters away, Otto Axman was talking with officers of the Adlerjungen. Soldiers of Germany, I'll be brief. The Fuhrer is a rifle leader, but it seems our colleagues in the Wehrmacht seek to betray him. Let's not stand, he said in a frenzy rush. Make plans to protect Germany from them at all costs. Another messenger rushed into the courtyard, saluting. The Fuhrer is in critical condition. Manstein and Axman nodded to their allies. Germany in the hands of the dying. Oh, no. Idealist win. Manstein wins. Well, we're going this way, so... Uh, Prussia and Germany have a proud tradition of the military supremacy. As a result, a clique will redacted. They plan to end autarky and the redacted policy. Oh boy. Um. A price issue of Reichsmarine. The German Navy, while yes, small, is still part of the German military. We could use some upgrades. Uh, what's happening to Daddy here? The fat man? Uh, the Great Bear Offense, of course. The war and our wars. Uh. Promote Finnish nationalists. Members of a conqueror. Alexander. The greatest of the ancient conquerors. He had ruled a small kingdom on the fringes of civilization. For many, he had not taken his Greek neighbors, but nearly all of them the Middle East. He had gone to India, but he had never made it back. And without him, the greatest empire the world had ever seen fell, torn apart by his generals. Charlemagne, the greatest medieval conqueror. He conquered Western New Europe, faced by threats on all sides. But he, when he perished, his heirs destroyed his kingdom. They'll take out of the great to restore the empire, and it would never be the same. Napoleon, the greatest conqueror of the Age of Revolutions. He conquered all of Europe at one point, but through the failures of his subordinates, his ambitions failed. And his subordinates forced him to bend to his enemies in 1814, yet another great empire failed by not his chief, but his subordinates and heirs. Goran thought that about himself as a deep, uh, the haze deepened. He could see out of the corners of his eyes the doctor coming back. He saw Marshal Manstein, his friend Otto Axman, his wife Emmy. He wondered what would happen to his empire in a moment of lucidity. He could only hope that it wasn't torn apart or subdued by its enemies, but that was for someone else now, and in the echo of one of the conquerors he had remembered, he gasped out his last words. Germany the hair, the hair of the hair, head of the hair, Emmy. Pragmatists win. The end of the fat man. We should get the marshals. Up next, as we did go to war with these guys too. Um, this is just taking forever. That's all it is. It's just taking forever. That's all. Ten days is fine. Whatever. Oh, you guys go ahead. Yeah, I forgot to do that. That's fine. You know, we could probably ooh, 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 subs would be nice. But at this point, I am pretty much done with the campaign. I mean, we did really well over here. No real issues. I mean, the Russian or the Eurasian Federation would collapse anyways. Got a lot of Rex Commissariats and Resurrectionist Ireland. I don't really care about North America. I'll be honest with you. Canada's making a comeback though. National Republic of Brazil, it's fine. Um, yeah, we're doing really well, though. We're doing very, very well in this campaign. we got a lot of cities to work with now. Holy crap. That's pretty darn nice. Not gonna lie. Pretty good. Very, very good. Ah, uh, perm. All right, let's see. They're going bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye. And about a week left. For Prussia, show Alex Marine. Ah, uh, the flag's okay here. We're the allied with Mongolia? Krasnoyarsk? It's fine, whatever. Just another nation to take out, just another Russian faction. It goes, it's taking forever to kill these guys off, but you know, supplies got awful. We all know that. It is garbage. Straight garbage. 
But really, I only care about this, this at this point. Let's see what that, what, how that ends up. Do we get like, oh, what's this? Cold Gorengin. It's not bad. I like the day compliance too. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, Y'all are over here. Y'all having a great time. And you're gonna do this, and you're gonna do that too. Be like, yay, go in. And be like, yay, oh god, we got encircled. Oh no. You still do very well there, but get out. Don't get encircled. Arr. Oh, please take alms. The great trial must begin someday. Help him out. Might as well at this point. Got more divisions. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, you go there. Can you? Go right there. Our public is sort of good. Hello. I must go right there. So we can go to Alma Akta. Still get 1.18. Religious divide. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Oh well. You guys left. Is anyone going in? Yes, we do have someone going in. That's good. Well, I wanted to cut him off, but there's no one there. Or they might have already died. Happens. And the monsters of Germany. Heinz. I never thought I'd actually see him leave the country. But I think that'll be it for us. Um, I mean, they got stuff over here for the Navy and the Air Force, but we don't really have to do those. I think it'll be it for us. I didn't realize that Monstein would basically take over and Mr. Fatman dies. That's why you don't get a drug, uh, addicted to drugs, kids. But, hey, if you enjoy the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I can do all this stuff, but I'll probably do it some other time as well. But, and I will, uh, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great Concordat of Hamburg rest of your day.